edge of the Motor Roller Mount Buller Cup. The riders making the left turn here as they head now down towards the Jemison section of the course. They've covered some 30 kilometres now and they'll pick up the tailwind here. The two leading groups are split by a gap of just 11 seconds, but many top riders, Phil, have been caught in those crosswinds and are some considerable way behind. Yes, I think there are going to be some riders eliminated uh, early on in today's race. Those crosswinds certainly saw them out. Because it was downhill, it was very fast, and once they get off the back there, it's almost impossible to come back. Yeah, Kwani in the blue, slipping away, taking his rest period at the back. And this is Chris Denham here, a rider who's showing considerable form during the series this week. And coming through now, Wayne Kestel. No, sorry, it's Duncan Smith. He's had a very active part to play in the race, too. It certainly has, Phil. And the weather has completely changed from the uh, beginning of the race at the base of Mount Buller there, where we saw it was wet, uh, drizzling off and on. Now it's dry, open and windy. Well, that's a small group of three riders who have been split off from the main field. Here is the league group. Now, you'll have to ignore the two riders at the bottom of our screen. They're actually club cyclists heading back towards the mountain. The league car has gone by them, but the main pack has regrouped. There are 26 riders here. And they're all now thinking what to do, Phil, because they've hit the headwind. They've hit the headwind. They're over halfway. Now it's a... Uh, although they haven't uh, reached the bottom of Mount Buller, it's uh, slowly climbing all the way here. Stephen Hodge on the front there. <laughs> you've seen the group go the other way, look. Yeah, you've seen the group behind who have actually been dropped. And uh, now the boys are going to a headwind. So I'd imagine the pace right now is quite a bit slower than earlier on. And there's an indication of just how the wind is blowing, and this is a group which is chasing the leading pack of some 26. They're not going to catch up now. They're going to lose a lot of ground in the headwind here, as this group makes a lot of time, because some big names have made the split, including Stephen Hodge and Neil Stevens, Kelvin Martin. They're the riders up front. Lars Mikkelsen, the man in yellow, is Pat Yonker, who's a very good climber and might lick his lips as he gets towards Mount Buller. And coming through here is John Kent, and behind him is Stephen Hodge. So some big names have read it well. A couple of riders with the orange. They're the White Pages Victorian Institute of Sports team. It's Wayne Kestel here. It's a very strong group, Phil, even so. It certainly is. And even though it doesn't look like they're going very fast, you've got some of Australia's strongest boys here. But they're powering their headwind, and that is a big element for the riders right now. Uh, tactics here will be more of survival than ones of wanting to attack because they know when they make the right turn shortly and head up for Mords Mount Buller, then they're going to pick up those crosswinds again. Now, one of the top teams that's emerging here in Australia is sponsored by White Pages and managed by Dave Sanders down in Melbourne. He's getting a lot of success. Let's have a chat and see what he said to them at the start today. Righto. I only think there'll be uh, half a dozen riders here that really you've got to worry about. I've gone through their names, that I, guys, I think that... It, to the hit a race, they can do something. Obviously, Steve O and Yonkers. I think Yonkers. You know, personally, I think he's no one will go with him at the top. And Neil, I'd say, will be riding for Yonkers. He will probably uh, he will probably set tempo a lot of the day, and he will set tempo early on the climb. I believe Neil will probably set tempo for Yonkers. Vogels and Hodgie. I mean, Hodgie's going to be going good. He he come home to prove something. I think he will he will lay down a big ride. To be sure of that. And Vogels never goes bad. You know, he'll be there. He'll probably that'll that's gonna be your group at the top. We gotta go early, gotta be in everything, but I wouldn't be driving it. You're going to break early, just go with it. Sniper, how's the legs, mate? Good? Yeah, Tell me they're good. Yeah. Alright? You'll be right. I think personally, out of out of Bert's and you, I think you will get up this hill. You know? But I don't, they're not going to let you go. You're not going to get a break. If you go, they'll be with you. They'll be chasing you. You're going to have to follow, follow the big guys and try and go with them. Don't get overexcited on the on the early climb. Just just tempo, breathing, lungs, you know? I mean, we've won this race the last two years up, up, this, up this berg. And remember the way we set it up for you when you won it. You know, Wayne was up the road driving the thing. And they had to chase, and they were in bits at the bottom. And you leapt out just before the bottom, and they, they, were, all, they were all in bits, and you just cruised across, and you were gone, mate. And I underestimated you. They will underestimate us again. They will underestimate you. I want you to really lay it on the line. If you smoke yourself, you smoke yourself. What else are you going to do, mate? Who cares, you know? What's the point? Give it a go, mate. You'll get on this hill, and you'll get your confidence, and, and you'll drive it. I mean, you won this last one by a minute and a half. All right, different field, doesn't matter, same hill. It's you that's got to race it. Don't worry about anybody else. 
And you get on this hill and it's every man for himself, as you understand the way it is. And we can do it. We've done it before. I mean, we've raced big guys before and beat them because we have a go. You know, you're laid on the line. Days like this are days when you can prove yourself. It can change your whole career. Quiet but inspirational words there from Dave Saunders, the manager of the White Pages Victorian Institute of Sport team. The riders now swinging back onto the Mansfield Mount Fuller Road and they've done 56 kilometres and there are only 26 men left in with a chance now of the 80 starters. Yeah, the field has thinned right down now. Corey Sweet coming to the screen there. And right now they're starting to worry about the, uh, the enduring climb which is approaching. This is Henk Vogel, so he's made the selection and he's now thinking of how he's going to handle the climb. It's a very tough road, Phil, all the way towards Buller. Buller in the foreground, that's the target for the day. They're climbing right to the 5,000-foot summit, but they roll and steadily climb all the way now, Phil. It is. They're going up. Uh, they've, they've got to climb at least 1,000 feet before they get to the gates at the right. bottom of Buller. So this is uh, a challenge before they even uh, get to the base. Now, you remember Dave Saunders talking about Pat Yonker as he felt nobody could beat him. Well, that's Yonker on the right in the yellow jersey. And we've got here now Lars Mikkelsen setting the pace from Denmark. He's a teammate of Stephen Hodge on the Intercotter team. And I must say, he'll probably look to try and help Hodge because his form isn't right here yet, the Dane, having left a very cold country behind him just two weeks ago. Yes. Uh, they're they're uh, thinking about this climb, maybe not putting in the effort which they'll be putting on a little later. They're all, uh, you know, trying to reserve as much energy as they can. This is Brendan Hart on the left of our picture, and Corey Sweet picks up the tempo. Some good riders here. This is Lars Mikkelsen. He's done a lot of work here, Lars has. Behind Lars Mikkelsen now is Glenn Mitchell as well. So the Kiwis again, Phil, are shining because they've had a great couple of weeks here already. They certainly have. They've done very well during the Bay Series. And uh, right now, they're Lars still on the front. But he's doing his, his uh, work here for his teammate, Stephen Hodge. Now, running down towards the gates of Buller, so the riders are now facing up to 15 kilometres of climbing. Matthew Tuck, by the way, you haven't seen him, has just punctured on the approach to Buller. So he's going to have to fight now and get back on. As the riders start the climb of Buller, it's a good time for us to take a quick break.